first-person shooters are one of the most popular genres in gaming. Despite what may seem to be a rather narrow gaming concept involving the use of firearms in combat, the most popular games are also known for telling sprawling stories with rich mythology. And of course, FPSs are also popular for competitive reasons, whether it's for heated gameplay between friends, or anonymous competitors online, or even in a professional esports setting. There's no shortage of FPSs to check out in the past and present, but we'd like to present you with some FPSs of the future to keep an eye out for, with our second video on awesome FPS games of 2019 and beyond. Metro Exodus A new entry in the Metro franchise, the game follows Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. Metro Exodus carries with it some serious political intrigue and interpersonal drama, to say nothing of maintaining the survival horror aspects that gave the franchise its name with the previous two titles. The unique blend of these traits, plus the cold Russian setting, have added up to a unique gameplay experience that can't be found anywhere else. While these games released in mid-February, you may also consider taking a look at Metro Redux, which is a remastering of both 2033 and Last Light. Borderlands 3 Long have we waited, but Gearbox seems finally ready to reveal Borderlands 3, the anticipated sequel to the cel-shaded shooter franchise. It seems that a reveal is set for Penny Arcade Expo East 2019, and recently the Gearbox software Twitter account has taken to teasing some of their works in progress on that account, with one in particular likely referring to Borderlands 3. PAX East 2019 is set for the last weekend of March, and with the event fast approaching, hopefully we can see an official announcement of this game soon. Metroid Prime 4 The Metroid Prime series of games is a venerated series with the Metroid franchise, departing from the classic massive map exploration and side-scrolling platforming hybrid found in the earliest Metroid games. Metroid Prime games were FPSs that were great at conveying a sense of adventure in a variety of alien worlds. Nintendo's Shinya Takahashi released a development update late this past January, confirming a development delay for the game and stating that development has been handed off to Retro Studios. Fans of Nintendo games may remember this name as the team responsible for the newer Donkey Kong games, and for, coincidentally, the Metroid Prime titles. While more waiting will be required, the future for the game does look bright. New Brothers in Arms Game it's been floated around in the past two years, but it appears that the Brothers in Arms franchise has not been forgotten by both Gearbox and Ubisoft, the developer and publisher of the games, respectively. In 2018, Gearbox CEO Randy Pitchford responded to a fan's question on Twitter about the franchise, stating, among other things, that they were, quote, working on something, though he wanted to stress the conditional and tentative nature of his statement. However, it's worth noting that a scheduled panel show's description for Gearbox at PAX East 2019 attributes, quote, Borderlands, Battleborn, and Brothers in Arms, among other franchises to the brand's name. It may be time for that fan's request to be realized. World War III This FPS stresses an authentic shooter experience, especially highlighting its portrayal of bullet-to-armor contact and proudly touting its devotion to realism in combat. The game is continuing to receive updates after its early access release in 2018, with its final product set to feature five game modes, 40-plus weapons, and support for multiple languages, among many other touted features. World War III is currently available through Steam Early Access, with no confirmation or denial on whether or not it will be arriving on any other platforms. Cyberpunk 2077 From CD Projekt comes Cyberpunk 2077, a cyberpunk open-world game that is inspired by the Cyberpunk 2020 tabletop game, with its release date to be announced soon. Much of CD Projekt's resources are being devoted to this game, and reportedly there are more people working on it than there were those assigned to The Witcher 3. Cyberpunk 2077 heavily immerses players in the gameplay experience by emphasizing RPG elements and character customization. Featuring a vision of California called the Free State of California, this game's setting depicts a society that depends on robots to function, and it's rampant with violence from the downtrodden poor and ruling factions seeking power. Escape from Tarkov a PC-based MMO that splices RPG and FPS genres, Escape from Tarkov has been in development since 2012, and fans have been treated to access to the game through a closed alpha and beta. The game's setting revolves around a fictional Russian city overrun by private military companies. The developer, Battlestate Games, touts both their game's story and their commitment to realism. Continued support and localization are in progress. For example, a French localization for this game has been recently announced. Star Citizen Squadron 42 Star Citizen would seem to be more than just a game, but rather a massive artistic vision that just so happens to be a game. Squadron 42 in particular is a story-based single-player mode set within the universe of Star Citizen. Star Citizen itself has thus far launched as an alpha, but currently there is an alpha set for Squadron 42's release in the first quarter of 2020, according to a roadmap for development found on the development team's website. 
Be sure to also check out the Features section of the website to see various game elements being planned for its development. Dead Island 2 Dead Island 2 was announced as far back as 2014, and while we've seen some media released to promote the game since then, in the past couple of months we haven't had anything else to note as far as status updates for the game. A recent Games Radar Plus article scoured the internet to produce their own evaluation of the status of the product, and while the silence can be painful for anxious fans, the game still appears to be in development, with Sumo Digital at the helm and using California as a setting. So let's be sure to keep an eye out for new developments on this unique title. Black Room Black Room is an FPS developed by the indie team Nightwork Studios, featuring the talents of John Romero and Adrian Carmack of id Software. In Black Room, simulations created by virtual reality technology have suddenly gone awry, and it's up to you as a scientist that works for the company developing these hollow sims to fight back against the warped virtual reality system. The game's Kickstarter paused in order for the team to develop a demo, and in 2017 Eurogamer spoke to John and Brenda Romero, with the Romero suggesting that Black Room is still in development. There are no new status updates for the game to note as of this year yet. Dying Light 2 Set for release on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, Dying Light 2 is the sequel to the 2015 survival horror shooter Dying Light. The game will again make use of choice-based gameplay to drive the story, which will significantly impact the world around you. The map of the world will apparently be four times as big as all the maps of the first game put together. It'll also boast new parkour moves as well. Reportedly, the developers have been watching PvP matches of Dying Light to inform their AI design philosophy and to enhance the gameplay experience, all in order to create more difficult enemies and a more robust set of control tools for players to use. Hell Let Loose This World War II based shooter is being developed by the Australian development team Black Matter Studios. The game has its own official YouTube channel featuring a few clips for fans to check out and see what the game has to offer. The extended footage available on the channel shows a lot of promise for what the game can become, and this game's currently announced for Steam due to release during 2019. Hunt Showdown Set in Louisiana, Hunt Showdown is developed by Crytek, known for the first Far Cry game in the Crisis series. It's currently available as a Steam Early Access game, launched originally during February 2018, and it's been announced during Gamescom 2018 that Hunt Showdown would be released on Xbox One through the Xbox Game Preview program. The game's official website regularly receives updates from the development team, offering in-depth looks into their development progress and their troubleshooting focal points. Apex Legends If you've been on Twitch lately, the chances are pretty good that you've seen an ad for Apex Legends. Apex Legends released with no prior marketing early in February, and despite the unusual launch circumstances, the game has taken off wildly, occasionally being described as a competitor to the already prominent Battle Royale Fortnite, which is no small claim to make. With $100 million planned for competitive gaming events in 2019 for Fortnite, as given out by Epic, the idea of Apex Legends becoming a viable rival is an interesting prospect. And in any case, it serves as a testament to the continuing popularity of the Battle Royale genre. It's also free to play on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Pandemic Express Pandemic Express has a rather unique concept. In a given match, a batch of players will spawn as humans trying to outrun a zombie, the latter of which is trying to infect you. One player is randomly chosen to be the zombie, which must seek out the other humans. As a human, your goal is to catch a train to escape the zombies hunting you down. Pandemic Express is currently available on Steam as an early access game, and contrary to the dark realism that may be expected of this type of game, Pandemic Express is colorful and mobility is fluid, and it emphasizes a fun tone rather than a tense one. Genesis Alpha 1 Available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC as of January 29th, Genesis Alpha 1 mixes both FPS and roguelike elements for a unique gameplay experience, in which you are searching for a new home for humanity by scouting planets and building and maintaining your own spaceship. A recent trailer for the game, uploaded by the development team prior to release, highlights the game's roguelike elements. Dead Matter FPS and Zombie Apocalypse It's a tried and true combination, and Dead Matter aims to be the definitive zombie survival experience. Dead Matter is a sandbox survival game in a way that allows its players to choose how they survive. For example, seek to protect your own home, or venture out and scavenge other locations for resources. The game currently has an Indiegogo page, and its previous Kickstarter was successfully funded. Set for release on Steam, multiplayer is also planned for this game. Deep Rock Galactic Mining dwarves on a mission in space, doing their best to acquire riches and survive hordes of aliens in the process. 
The game boasts four classes to choose from and expects specialized item and weapon loadouts per class. The development team fosters a sense of community by regularly making updates to the game's Steam page, which recently celebrated one year of being live on the platform. The posted roadmap suggests that the developers have many plans ahead for the future of Deep Rock Galactic. And that concludes our video on 19 awesome FPS games of 2019 and beyond. Among the games shown here, we have both indie titles and major titles, and many are sure to be anxiously awaiting you. With a list as expansive as this, there's certainly a lot to look forward to, so we encourage you all to reply to us with your comments on which games interest you the most. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily. Also, don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon, that way you don't miss out on any of our videos.